so this is my update for my quarantine edition. Basically what I am doing during the day, what's sort of my day in a nutshell. Typically it's a lot of cooking, a lot of cleaning, dishes multiple times a day now. Being outside with my son and yeah, not a whole lot other than that. Um, you know, having to balance between work and trying to be a mom and trying to be like, trying to take care of the home and everything like that. So it's not easy, um, but it just takes a lot of balance and a lot of forgiveness because you have to forgive yourself for doing work and feeling bad about not being with your child, but also being with your child and feeling bad because you're not working. So it's, it's kind of a crazy mixture of feelings that kind of happen. So one thing I forgot is that uh, since being in Arizona, if you don't know, Arizona opened up and I've been taking a look at the cases of COVID-19 and they have been spiking like crazy. Um, because of course we all, I mean, I, I wanna say a lot of people know that after about seven to 14 days of exposure, you will begin to um, show symptoms if you are um, infected or not. So, <clears throat> Since Arizona opened and people are needing their haircuts, um, Arizona cases have spiked and I feel like that's just the, you know, it's the silliest thing I've just ever heard. I, I, I'm really uh, disappointed in a lot of people, but um, I'm just really thankful. Uh, I don't know if I mentioned that earlier, but I'm just super, super thankful that I have a job that can be accomplished remotely and I get to stay home. I'm here with my son. Um, so I'm just super thankful for my circumstances. Everett and I are just gonna probably head back soon. Um, and I have to get dinner started. Um, I did a fast this weekend and I can talk about that or I can uh, even vlog it if you all are interested but uh, I did a three-day fast <laughs> over the weekend it was so crazy it was great but also really hard and I wouldn't say I recommend it for everybody it is definitely something I had been preparing for for like years <laughs> I was craving <sighs> some ham sorry Sorry, 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 but I was. And so I'm gonna go to Pinterest here in a second. I already defrosted it because we had it frozen. Um, I'm gonna go look up some some recipes and see if I can make it for dinner tonight because it is about that time, so yeah. And so we're back at the apartment now, um, trying to cool off. I know that Everett and I were not wearing protective gear. We probably could have and it would have still been fine, but um, because this this neighborhood that we're in is really really super quiet. We don't come into pretty much anybody um, We didn't come into like within 30 feet of another person because no one's really outside some people at work This is kind of an not an elderly population, but like just a lot of uh, I don't know maybe it is an elderly population, but there's a lot of people here who are just very quiet into themselves so um, That's why we weren't wearing protective gear, but I know that it's not super critical because we were outside but if you are outside, and especially when we go outside, we are for sure um, wearing protective gear if we're going to the gas station or the grocery store or wherever it might be. Poor thing, Everett doesn't go anywhere. He, isn't, he hasn't gone to a single store in at least three months. And now I'm gonna go and start dinner because it's getting late now. It's uh, getting closer to five and I know that ham's gonna take a while to cook. So I'll show you guys how it goes.
so I'm finally done for the day. Um, everything's sort of completed, dinner's done, Everett's sort of winding down, and um, you might have seen that I was listening to a podcast while I was cooking. I love to listen to podcasts while I'm cooking, while I'm um, doing the dishes, doing housework. Sometimes I'll just have like one little headphone in my ear. And one of my favorites is All My Relations. If you haven't checked it out, definitely check it out. It's super, super good. And the one I was listening to was with um, Thosh, and, and Thosh and Chelsea Collins. And they are, they lead the Welfare Culture um, organization. And I really appreciate it. I mean, I was feeling a little guilty because I was sitting there like eating not so great food, but <clears throat> um, I really, I, I don't, I knew about welfare culture, but I didn't really know a whole lot about them. And I don't know why I didn't know they had a podcast. <laughs> so now I'm going to have to go and um, binge listen to their podcast. But I just wanted to say that if you haven't listened to the episode on all my relations, you should, because there is an amazing part in that episode. I want to say it's a little past the halfway mark um, where Thosh is talking about um, how he supports Chelsea, his wife, um, with breastfeeding. And I could not believe how amazing and thoughtful it was. Um, I breastfed my son, and so I'm thinking about that, thinking about Native men, I'm thinking about, I'm thinking about all kinds of things, thinking about my family, thinking about, um, you know, the way that I've been reflecting on my own health, and um, I just really appreciated it. I also really appreciate how Chelsea talked about how um, careful she is with, you know, her family and her privacy, and just really, you know, stepping back to kind of think back about like what her daughter is going to think about um, and what she feels like she values right now. So, but on top of that, she also talked about like how parents and families this needs to be like a non-judgmental space like she's not going to judge other families for the way that they you know live their lives or parent do their parenting techniques but you know she also said like she wants the same grace i guess and and it feels like that's super true for me because i'm not always for sure about each step i take as a parent and i'm sort of just like figuring it out as i go along and so there was just so much in that whole podcast that I feel like resonated and I just wanted to kind of get that out and kind of like share that bit. And if you haven't checked out their podcast, go ahead. Um, I'll put some links here on the bottom to um, in the description to both of those podcasts. So that's all I really wanted to say. I hope you all enjoyed the video today and I hope I'll see you in the next one. Bye.